I read the other day that you opened your fund for 24 hours and $5 billion showed up. Now, how does somebody raise $5 billion in 24 hours? It wasn't exactly true. Oh. It was true in the sense that once the, um, the offering was open, um, because it was first come, first served, uh, there was a lot of um, uh, demand. Uh, and uh, tw 23 hours later, uh, it was filled up. But um, it took a, a number of months of preparation. Okay, well, that makes so, me feel better. So that you didn't yeah. do it in just in 24 hours. So how much do you that manage all we now, took. overall? I think it's $34 billion at this point. So you started your fund in what year? 1977. And how much money did you have then? $1.3 million. Okay, where did you get that from? It was friends and family. Um, I was a, uh, a practicing lawyer. And uh, in uh, early 1977, I decided that um, um, what I had been doing, managing a small amount of, a tiny amount of friends and family money was much more interesting than practicing law. You grew up in Teaneck, New Jersey and Manhattan. And you went to University of Rochester and then Harvard Law School. Right. It was a wonderful experience, but it was a, um, it was a daunting experience, especially because I didn't exactly like <laughs> what, I was, um, what I was doing. But you went to practice law in New York. In the absence of a better idea. Okay. So I practiced law in New York initially as well, and I practiced law in Washington. Sad and to hear it. So when I gave up the practice of law to go into business, my mother said, you know, you went to law school. What are you going to do? You don't know anything about business. What did your mother say when you said, I'm going to give up the practice of law? She said, you know, what? Can you earn a living? So you started, and you, you worked out of your apartment, and you had a million and a half dollars from friends and family. So what was the strategy that you used to get off the ground? Tiny bit of context. Um, my dad was a retail pharmacist, and... Uh, 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 after I started attending law school, he said, well, you have to learn how to be an investor. And he and I traded um, um, uh, tiny amounts of, of tech stocks and mining stocks together, uh, $2,000 of this and $5,000 of this. So I became very, very interested in, um, in markets and in trading. Uh, and uh, in the period of time from 1967, 68 through 1974, uh, he and I found just about every possible way uh, conceivable to lose money. And so when I started Elliott in 1977, I was determined to engage in um, a trading strategy that made money all the time. And so for the first uh, 10 years or so of Elliott's existence, um, the primary strategy was convertible bond hedging. Buy the bond, short the stock. It had a, a strong positive uh, carry some trading profits. Uh, I practiced it on low leverage, and it did the job. The job meaning a consistent return, making money more or less all the time. When did you realize that you were really better than the average guy getting these kind of uh, uh, doing these kind of things? I never thought of it that way. Um, I was completely determined to um, just make a rate of return, um, um, really recapture my parents' money that I had lost. Uh, previously, and um, um, fi keep, keep finding ways to um, to uh, to pursue that goal of absolute return at a time when convertibles were becoming more quantified, more leveraged, and more uh, competitive. 